Hey guys, this is Realtor George coming to you live. I have a collection of 70s and 80s BMX gold here that I want to share with you. Um, this is all stuff in an attic that's in a property that I picked up that is just an amazing effort from a passionate collector who really had a good eye for bikes. And I'll start out with these Schwinns. These are all Nighthawks and Predators and you got a couple of Atari models here, like around 83, that have the original levers and wheels, like the old Redstone mags. These bikes have Araya wheels on them, too, and the old die comp brakes with the lever. I believe that was like the MX-1000. Got the old school um, Araya 7X wheels. Got the MX-1000 um, brakes with the wheel I mentioned. Some of them have the wheels, some of them do not. This bike's got the original owner's manual still strapped to the handlebars with rubber bands. This is an 83 Predator, I believe. That's got the old Kuwahara frame. Got the bottom tube is oval, the top tube is round. It's got the red stones on it as well. Quality welds. This is a frame, I think, that was made by Giant back in the early 80s for Schwinn. They made it for Greg Hill and I believe Kuwahara a couple brands as well. Um, only that 183 year frame, I, th I think, is the one they may have used on the Kuwahara. I'm not sure. Those Kuwahara experts would know, but real nice collection of Schwins. Then we got these mongooses. Got an old uh, riveted front head badge on this frame. That's like 82, I believe. This is a little mini goose with all pro class parts on it. Really nice bike. Beautiful craftsmanship on it. We got a team, a uh, super goose, excuse me. Got the Tangy Forks, pro class rims. This particular bike does have a T-stamp crank hanger. It has got a flat and chain stay. It is a real deal team model bike. Um, got really good components. Got the original pads. This is another team bike, I believe. Got the die comp brakes, die comp pads. This one's got the MX-1000 brakes on the rear. It's got the Pro Class wheels. I believe this is just a standard team model. Look at the welds on this. Just incredible American quality. Boy, back in the day, they really did make a nice bike. This is like rolling jewelry. This is another Super Goose. I believe this is an 81 Super Goose. Just beautiful finish on the frame, beautiful finish on the forks. These are the Super Goose forks. You can tell because they got the little crimps on the bottom that kick out. You can see the quality on the welds. Got rare rims. Got some three-piece SR cranks, KKT pedals. Got another set of MX-1000 die comps on the back. Got the three-hole brake bridge. Basically, if your mongoose has a three-hole brake bridge, the stamped tent crank hanger with a T, or the flattened chain stay, you have a super goose. If you do not have those three things on your bike, you do not have one. It's got the nice, uh, tough bars on it. Um, this one has mongoose grips. This one does not. This one does. This is another OG Mongoose with the coaster brake, but it's all OG. It's got the Tough Wheel 1s. I believe this is a 78. Got the Stamp Mongoose. Uh, excuse my terminology. I think that's a seat post clamp. Got the Mongoose Stamped Head Badge. Got the Mongoose Stamped Sprocket. Snowflake Sprocket. Got the Mongoose Seat. Um... It's just a beautiful mongoose, man. You got the original mongoose box bar pad that you put your chicks on when you rode them over to the 7-Eleven to go get that big gulp. Yeah, man. The only fine girls want on these bikes. I mean, look at the condition of these. No fat chicks on these bikes. Look at this mongoose expert right here. Beautiful loop tail, polished frame. This is a Taiwanese-made bike, but you can still see the quality that went into this year. Mongoose seat. Got a couple CYCs, man, all decked out with three-piece cranks on this Stormer. Looks like candy. Got a nice candy jelly bean stem. Got the array of rims. It's got some nice parts on this bike. These are upgraded. I'm sure they did not come from factory with these parts on them. But the owner really took pride making himself some really nice builds there. Got a couple, pr another Predator. Got another Fuji. This is a Fuji uh, with three-piece Fuji cranks. Got the Fuji frame, got made in Japan on it. Got some uh, die, these are anodized rims, but they're not arrays. I don't know what they are, but they look good. Got nice parts on this bike. This is another Phantom that came right out of the box, brand spanking new. This has never seen the light of day. 
I just put it together for illustration purposes. Got Predator stamp gum wall tires. Got the CMC wheels polished. Beautiful polish on those wheels. I mean, look at that. Brand freaking new. Never been ridden. Got the discount seat made for Schwinn. Another Schwinn back there. Got some, some mongoose wheels on it. Nice little bike. I have all these bikes on eBay. They're priced to move. I'll even do better if you come with cash or send me a Zelle because eBay charges 10% for my final value fee, and I don't want to pay them. Got a really nice orange crate here from the 90s. This is an actual crate bike. This is not a Chinese-made one. This is a Taiwanese version, which is the super high quality that they used when they left American production and went overseas. But you can see the chrome on this 25 years later. No pitting, no flaking. This is quality. Got frame paint. It's just beautiful. Got a, this is a Chinese-made one now. This is a Campus Green 125th anniversary. This is the only China bike that I got in my collection here. But they pulled it off. And it's a cheap bike. I think it's on eBay for 300 bucks. Got a Huffy flatbed. That's a quality Huffy right there if you're into Huffy. has got the gyro. Got the, the uh, Pots mod. Got the nice uh, freestyle uh, pegs that I have that go with it. Beautiful bike. Got a dyno, dyno comp here. I believe this is like a 95. Got the dyno seat, dyno drain pipe, ACS stealth wheels. Frames beautiful, no rust. Nice stem, nice bars. Just a tight, clean bike. Clean. Got a Skyway here. Don't know what model. It says uh, Sharp Freestyle. It says Made in Taiwan. I guess this is when they started going overseas on these bikes, but it's got the pegs on it. It's got the nice bladed Acuso forks. Um, it's got a, looks like a Skyway seat post clamp, seat clamp, tough wheels, got some school uh, Skyway easy bars, got another Huffy, this is a Max Air, this has the same band that the GT Performer had back in the day, it's another G GT copy, got the front platform on the back, got some uh, tough wheels on it as well, I think they are, or some other brand wheel. Got the uh, freestyle bars, got the little fanny pack that comes with it, which is really cool. And I think this is a General Hustler. I believe this was made by Redline. This company took over, I guess, and made some bikes before they went out of business, but it's all OG. It's even got the plastic discs, which you never find. These things are always broken. You know, they're still intact. They're a little cracked in a couple spots. The chain uh, guard is broken off, but I have it. But it's a really clean Hustler. And then here's the star of the show. Got a CW. Really clean CW. I think this is an 85. The welds on this thing are amazing. When you look at the quality that Custom Works puts into their bikes. It's got the array of satin wheels on it. Real deal. Got the CW forks. Got a Ann Loon, I believe, drive system on it. I guess they made the sprockets for these bikes. It looks like an old Schwinn. Broken arrow seat post clamp or Sun Tour. I get confused whoever made that. Got the nice big double flange hubs on the back of these arrays. I'm not sure exactly what hubs they are, but they're they're uh, they're going to be quality if they're sitting here on these arrays. We've got a freewheel, like almost all my bikes do. Dicon brakes, a CW seat. Got a uh, old ACS stem in there. Got the CW mustache bars, I believe they were called. Yeah, look at this right here. This is a 1983 GT Santa Ana. Look at that. The condition of this bike is incredible. Got a, got a pro neck on it, custom neck. Got a set of hutch bars. Got the Yukai wheels. GT forks. It's a really nice GT bike here. Got the GT Viscount Wings logo seat. I believe that's like a 2123. Got the same brakes on the back, the OG brakes with the adjustment wheel. Got a Pro model, Santa Ana. I believe this was an 82. And a GT Pro Top Freestyle Tour seat post clamp. Unipro seat and seat post. Paragrine 48 wheels. GT Pro Series cranks. A cheese grater sprocket. Uh, tough neck. Oh, this one's made by ACS. Very similar. an amazing collection of art here. This stuff belongs in a collection where it can be seen. If you got a bike shop, it would make a great display bike to bring customers in. And you can flip them into one of your $10,000 e-bikes. 
good luck with that, but I guess people are buying them. Um, just some stuff you won't find anymore. The art and craft that went into this is just gone. These people that welded these bikes on these jigs, these were handmade bikes from a different era. You will never again see this. I've got these things all online and they're priced to move. Most of them are priced for the value of the parts alone. Even less. I'd hate to break the bikes up and part them out. They're worth a lot more money if I did decide to part them. But this stuff is art and it deserves to be displayed in the way it is, the way I found it. I just can't see myself to being a venture capitalist and breaking these things apart to make money on them. I want to sell them the way they are. So, like or subscribe if you really like this video. Go on YouTube, more of my interesting videos. And uh, like I said, these, these bikes are all available.